Hello everyone, welcome back. I am going to do a quick little weekend reading vlog for you because I had ordered this one book from the library, oh, it was last fall. It took forever to get here because I think there's only one copy in our library system. And But when it finally got here, I was in the middle of reading some other books, so I didn't get around to reading it. And I just realized it's due on Monday, but it's not letting me renew it again, probably because it's the only one in the system and other people are waiting for it. So I thought I would do a little vlog where I kind of binge read it over the weekend. I do have some other things I have to do this weekend, some painting and that kind of thing. So I'll also be listening to my ebook, but I'm going to try and read this one over the weekend. It's not real long. It's only like 200 or 188 pages, so it's not super long. But the book that I'm going to read is I Who Have Never Known Men by Jacqueline Hartman. So this book was highly recommended by one of my favorite booktubers. So that's why I thought I would read it. And so I had ordered it in and I was going to use this one for my um, reading prompts from the 2023-2024 prompt list I had for a book recommended by somebody else. So that's what I'm using this book for. It was originally written in French, so this is a translation. And basically it's kind of a, um, I don't know what you would call it, like speculative fiction or something like that. Uh, it's about these women, it's told from the point of view of the youngest one, and they're, they've been kept underground imprisoned in a cage uh, for as many years as they can remember. The youngest one doesn't even remember life before this, but they have no idea why they're there. And then one uh, one day, the uh, they find the cage is open and their and their captors or whatever are gone, so they escape. And so it's it sounds like a really interesting book. It's kind of a, I don't know if it would be like post apocalyptic or like speculative or whatever, but it's it's kind of that sort of style. So I'm really curious because that's not my normal style of book that I would read, but it was so highly recommended by uh, by one of my favorite booktubers that I thought I would give it a shot and just see what I think. And it's not super long. So I am going to give that a read over the course of the weekend. It's Friday night right now. I have a few other things yet to do and then I'll probably read a little bit tonight and I'll give you my first impressions and then I'll continue reading over the course of the weekend here and hopefully finish it so that I can take it back to the library on Monday and not get any late fees. <laughs> so that's my goal for this weekend. Um, I'll also update you on some of the other things I'm reading um, as I as I go but this is gonna be my main focus for the for the weekend uh, just a little quick weekend vlog so I hope you enjoy it and I will see you when I've read a few pages quick little update on the book I last night before bed I read 28 pages so so far I'm finding it quite interesting again it's not my normal style of a book that I would normally read, but I am so far finding the interactions between the characters super interesting. They're still trapped underground at this point, and nobody knows why, or uh, they, they don't know why, they don't know where the other people that they used to know are, anything like that. So, uh, and the young girl who ended up with them, she's starting to uh, basically kind of like starting to get the ability to think on her own. And so it's causing some waves to happen. And uh, yeah, so it's interesting so far. I've only read 28 pages. I'm going to do some more reading today and I will let you know how that goes. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious. I, I'm really excited for when they finally get... Uh, get out of the prison and and to see you know how the story develops i'm very curious about you know what kind of world is outside of this prison you know is it uh futuristic is it modern is it you know whatever because some of the some of the you know comments about you know their previous jobs and things like that sounds like you know maybe it was you know current day sort of thing well current day being um when was this published uh, 1995. Yeah. Oh, first published. Yeah, first published in 1995. So, you know, was 
was it you know the world of the 1990s that that this happened in or was it sometime in the future because obviously these women don't know the, you know, can't tell the passage of time because they're trapped in this underground bunker uh, with no idea of how much time has passed so yeah it's um, super interesting so far in the first 28 pages the voice of the main character is really interesting very readable and yeah I'm super curious to keep going so I will do that and I will let you know what I think into the 14th and final book, which was actually written by Brandon Sanderson because the author, Robert Jordan, did pass away while writing the series. And I think Brandon Sanderson used the notes and the outlines from Robert Jordan to write this. So it'll be very... time I have been actually reading quite a bit today I was doing reading sprints with uh, Gavin it was a recorded one from earlier in the month I'm just gonna grab the book here and uh, I'm alternating between reading during one sprint and then the next sprint I'm going to work on revising my fifth novel uh, that's one of the reasons why I've been so uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been reading as much this month, because I'm actually finally writing again. So I finished the first draft of my fifth novel, and I'm giving it a final read-through before I send it to uh, my friend who edits and reads through it for me. So that's kind of what my plan is for today. So yeah, I've been reading the book, and I got to page 70. And it is super interesting. It's uh, the the event that I told you guys happens where the something happens and the doors end up open and they and they escape has just happened so I'm really curious as to see where this is going to go from there uh, so far I'm really enjoying the writing the voice of the main character is super interesting you don't actually know her name uh, she never mentions it and none of the other girls mention it yet they've just called her the child so I don't know if she even actually has a name but it's super interesting so far and very psychological like I'm trying to wrap my brain around what that situation would be like and you know would I act any different than these women acted like it's or would you just um, basically accept your your lot in life as and you know kind of create a normal out of what you have you know in order to survive so it's kind of interesting that way to really think about it. So, so far, I like I say, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it is about 5.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. So I still have over half the book to go, but I have a lot of, a lot of time here. So I'm going to keep going with this and I'm going to also do some writing, I'm doing some revisions on my novel and I still got chores and supper and all that fun stuff. So I will let you know when I make more progress. So I haven't read any yet today. It's Sunday now, but I'm going to start doing some reading. I actually got quite far yesterday. I got to page 108 by the end of the night when I decided to go and get some sleep. So I, uh, I've i been uh, watching old reading sprints and using that to help me. I ended up getting to page 108 here and I ended up editing through chapter 10 of my novel. So that was kind of cool. I... Uh, 
I don't know if I've ever told you guys about my books. I have them listed down in the in the uh, description box. I have a series that's set in the 1930s in Canada, and it's about a young man who's riding the rails looking for work and he decides to go searching for the father he never knew and that leads him into all kinds of trouble and then it develops into a few other uh, interesting storylines with uh, with characters that are out to get him and <laughs> um, but it's a it's a really fun series I've been told that it's very easy to read um, by people who have haven't even read since like high school and that kind of thing so uh, that's cool uh, there's four books so far I'm working on the fifth and then I have a sixth one to finish the series there's gonna be six to complete the series so uh yeah so the link is down in the description box to all of them if you want to check them out and every time you buy one of those it helps me to continue surviving so <laughs> and if you wanted to leave me a good review on Goodreads or on uh you know, Amazon or whatever that always helps too it's it's hard for for indie authors to sometimes get the reviews so Anyway, uh, so yeah, I got through chapter 10 on my revisions on book 5, and I got to page 108 in here, and I'm finding this book super interesting so far. It's um, definitely different than anything I've ever read before, and but I'm like just pulled along by this story and trying to, you know, see how someone who basically had never experienced normal life ever you know, would adapt to all of a sudden having freedom and, you know, somebody who, like, I mean, she didn't even learn properly because the women that she was with taught her a few things, but she didn't, um, there was no purpose to, you know, learning to read or learning to write or that kind of thing because they couldn't, they had no paper, they had no books or anything, you know, so she's been learning as, as, as they can teach her, as they remember things you know, and, you know, learning about, you know, your own body even and stuff like that. So it's very, very interesting. And uh, I'm just, I'm super curious as to what on earth is going on. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get answers to that, but it's like crazy. Um, it's addictive. Um, <laughs> I was, I was really uncertain when I started reading this one. I was only reading it because uh, one of my favorite booktubers recommended it and said that everybody should read it. So yeah, but it's super interesting. So I'm going to keep going, doing some reading here this af late afternoon, evening, and I'm going to keep doing some editing. I'm going to pull up some old reading sprints again because that seemed to really help me focus. And I will let you know when I'm done. Well, I finished the book. I just finished it, so my thoughts are still kind of all over the place. That was very, very interesting. I, wow, you don't get answers to everything, but that seems fitting for the story. Yeah, I'm not really sure even what to say about it, because wow, that was like really interesting. Um, brought up a lot of interesting thoughts I hadn't thought about before. You know, what would you do if you were the last person on the earth? And you had nobody to talk to and nowhere to go and no answers to your questions. and Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I would definitely recommend this to people. Uh, I got to go through my caw pile rating to see what I would actually rate it. But I'm thinking it's going to be at least a four and a half or a five because it was super interesting. I did find, um, I didn't find it overly sad, which kind of surprised me because of the content. Um, and, but I think it's because the main character being that she didn't grow up to have the same emotions as a normal human would, uh, because of the situation she was in, she didn't get super emotionally attached to anyone or anything. So I think that might be why I didn't find myself getting like super attached to any one of the characters other than the main character herself who uh, who was telling the story. So yeah, it's interesting that way as well. So like I didn't find it, it it's a depressing topic, but I didn't find the book itself to be depressing or anything. I found it just 
really, really interesting. So yeah, that was kind of interesting. I've said interesting a lot right now, but that's all I can think of. That's the word that I can really think of to describe this book is very, very interesting. Very well written. I, I enjoyed the writing style. Um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was really good. So I guess I will sign off this vlog and uh, there's my little Pippi back there. Pipper! There you are. That's my little old lady. And I'm gonna go back and do some more writing and yeah, some other stuff like that. It's night out now, so yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had a good weekend of reading and I will see you guys in my next video.